Today I'm going to show you how to test a Rainbird DVF sprinkler valve solenoid. And I'm going to show you what the actual resistance numbers are for this solenoid. That way you've got a reference to always come back to when you're troubleshooting the electrical of your sprinkler system, particularly testing the solenoids, you know exactly what a good solenoid is supposed to test out to. My name's Kelly Staggs and you're watching American Irrigator. If you've got a Rainbird DVF style valve, Rainbird is the manufacturer, the model is a DVF. All the Rainbird DVF valves have this same solenoid. And so if you've got this style of valve, and you're trying to test the solenoid, the numbers you're gonna to see today are the exact numbers that it should be if it was good. If you get anything else, other than the numbers I'm gonna show you, could indicate that your solenoid is bad. So if I know that I have these Rainbird valves and I'm gonna test the solenoid when it's in the valve box, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my wire strippers, I'm gonna cut the wires from going to the solenoid off of the splices that are there. And so you would just simply cut the wires out of the splice, that way you can access just the wires to the solenoid. And then I'll strip back some new, good, clean wire. And after I do that, these are stranded wires, so I usually twist them together, that way they don't go everywhere. And then I'm gonna take my multimeter, and I'm gonna turn it to the omega symbol, which is the symbol for ohms. And ohms is what's gonna test the resistance of this solenoid. Some other guys say you're gonna test the continuity. Kind of means a similar type of thing. Running this test, testing the resistance, ohming out this solenoid is gonna tell us if it is good or not. So I'm gonna take my leads. You've got a red and a black. It doesn't matter which wire goes to which. I really like these leads that have the clamps on them. It makes it a whole lot easier. You can just clamp around that wire. And as soon as you do, you're gonna get a number. And this is the number. This one is good and it's at 43. And it's a good solid number, not jumping around all over the place. It reaches that number and it may vary depending on your multimeter, but if it hits this number, that means your solenoid is good. Now let me give you a close up view of it. So again, it doesn't matter which wire goes to red or black. Use your red to clamp to one and your black. Then you turn your multimeter to omega symbol and there it is. 43. So when you are testing your Rainbird valves that are the DV style and that has this type of solenoid, you want to see this number at 43. If you're getting this number, it means your solenoid is good. If you get a number that's jumping all over the place, it could mean that there's a short somewhere in that solenoid. It really just means that solenoid is bad. Or if it says OL, open line, it is bad. That means something is definitely messed up inside of that solenoid. Of course, a good indication is the valve's not coming on. And if you find that your solenoid is bad, you're going to take it out, get a new one, and have to put a new one in and wire it up. Now, I think it would be a good idea for you to save this video. That way you've got quick access to it, and I always have it as a reference. You can come back and watch it again, and that way you know exactly what a good Rainbird solenoid is going to test out to be you can compare it to what you're getting when you're testing them on your sprinkler system. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any kind of irrigation tips. And then watch this playlist right here for more irrigation repairs.